YouTube and in this video I'm going to show you how to drill boot Windows 7 and Ubuntu. Now if you don't know what Ubuntu is, it is a Linux operating system that is completely free. And the first thing you want, we're, we're going to be using Wubi, so first thing you want to do is actually create the partition for it. So let me just close that. You want to go to start, right click on computer, click on manage. Now click on disk management. Right click on your C drive. Shrink volume and just wait for this to finish. Now the reason that we're doing this is because I prefer to have Ruby and Ubuntu installed on a separate partition. I don't really like it to be installed on the same partition. So once this comes up, you can you need to shrink it in megabytes. So I'm gonna shrink it by eighty thousand megabytes. Shrink. Alright, so once it's done, you want to right click on the new spot here. New click on new symbol volume. Next, next, next next finish and just wait for it to create all right so once the partitions are all ready you can close out of that and now we need to grab the latest version of Wubi now Wubi is the installer for Ubuntu it's a really simple installer but on the website you can only download the 12.04 version so I'll provide a link in the description where you can get the 12.10 version yep the 12.10 so you can download that from this article here and just open it up you don't need that okay so we will select that installation size we can leave that Ubuntu change the name to Jacob and just enter a password and install oh. now the latest version of Ubuntu is um, 13.04 but the Ruby only goes up to 12.10 so once Ruby is done installing you can just update to the latest version of Ubuntu from Ubuntu if that makes any sense I'll see you back when this is done alright and once that's done we just need to reboot the computer Now it should come up with just some random code stuff. Now don't worry, it's all part of the installation. And here we go, the Ubuntu logo. At this point, it's just loading the installation files, and here we go. Not the installation files, but you know, yeah, <laughs> my bad. Um, let's just log in. Now, Ubuntu is a pretty nice operating system. I quite like it. It's it doesn't use as much RAM and resources as Windows 7 or Windows 8 would, so <coughs> it's good for a low-end computer or if you're running a server, like a Minecraft server, it's very configurable. So yeah, now if you want to update it, just go over here to the dash home at the top left and just type in update and you should see software updater so we'll just press on that 
and then it will check for updates. Now let's test that the dual boot actually works by um, rebooting the computer. So to reboot you just go up here to the gear and then you just go down to restart. This will pop up, you just press restart. And here we go. Choose an operating system to start or press tab to select a tool. You can choose Windows 7 or Ubuntu by using the arrow keys down there. Now if you don't select anything or don't press anything, it will automatically boot into Windows 7. Well, it should automatically boot into Windows 7. But yeah, that's basically it. If you would like any tips or if something's gone wrong with Ubuntu or Windows 7, just comment and I'll try and help you. Bye.